Welcome back, it's your favorite South Florida realtor. And today I brought you to Brickell, one of my favorite cities in all of South Florida, pretty much the center of Miami with these crazy views because we're on the 62nd floor. No mistake about it, this place is different. So you got four bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 4,633 square feet. Outside you got 800 square feet of terrace space. And if you wanna wake up every day to these views, it's gonna cost you $9,450,000. And this masterpiece in the sky was developed by Ugo Colombo, and it was designed by Alexis Kogel Leonard. And on that note, let's get inside so I can show you around this unit. So when you come off the elevator and come down to your private entrance, this is like your lobby before you even get inside. And to me, this is like a five-star lobby. Even the lighting in here is beautiful. But I don't know why I'm talking so much about the lobby because behind this door, there's just magic. Come on in. The finish on the door, you already know it's about to be legit. So come on in. On my right, you have the first guest half bathroom. The space in there is just really open. The sink is elegant. The lighting in there is just very modern and futuristic. It's got my attention. What else can this prove to me? Let's go. As you come in, we're just gonna, we're gonna cut around the fat and get right to the middle of the steak, okay? Because here, I'm showing you 24 foot high ceilings in the center of your living room. You got north and east views of the water, open ocean on this side, the city on this side, basically the best of both worlds. And this place, all this luxury furniture, these elegant leather chairs, all everything you see here is included in the asking price. It's fully furnished. You, it's not just regular furniture, you're getting the best of the best. And it just flows easily. It flows super easily into the kitchen right over here. The kitchen has everything you need without wasting a lot of the interior space, which I really like. So you have this just wooden lip on the edge of the island and it leads into like a sleek black gray countertop over here. You have the induction Mila stove top and as you come a little bit around, the finish that you saw on the countertop gets matted for the cabinetry above and you have the see-through cabinets. It's really, listen, it's really sexy if you don't mind me saying. It is, I mean, that's just hot. And then the Mila oven and conventional microwave oven over there. Storage all down below here. You know, it's just, it's just got everything you need. And on top of that, even the light fixtures in the unit are elegant. I mean, these two belong in the MoMA, if you ask me. And as we, oh look, is this the, uh, oh yeah, look, and charging ports. And the charging ports, what is this? Are we in a Rolls Royce? Just super elegant there as well. So as we come a little bit further down to the other end of the kitchen, these, I mean, look, look at the softness and design of these. Opens up, you got your humongous, humongous Mila fridge and freezer on this side. Just cabinetry, more storage space. You got it on this side as well, but this side has little grooves to hold your uh, bottles of wine or liquor, your Henny bottles, if you're like me. And then just behind this masterpiece of a door that also slides in little bar with a LED strip going across, perfect for the coffee machine. And then just to finish it all off, 100 bottle wine cooler on this side. So we put the good stuff and it smells just like cedar heaven in there. And it just presents itself in front of a breakfast area with another intricate light fixture on the top as you see it here. Coming a little bit further down towards the living room, TV on the wall just to put the cherry on the ice cream. So it just makes the whole room come complete and then it takes you right off the kitchen onto like a private balcony separate from the one where I did the intro over there. So we'll go over here. Follow me. What I'm looking at is the, I feel like someone took a crayon and colored the ocean. It's so blue. And then behind me, it just in what seems like to me an endless amount of city and it actually comes around here past there. So you probably wouldn't put any seats over here, but this is where you put like your outdoor eating, hanging out chairs for the people in the kitchen. The cool thing is too, that door opens up right by the breakfast area and you can have some fresh air while you eat. This place is ridiculous. So coming back down across the living room, one feature that I hate myself for not remembering to mention, look at the light fixture in the room. The light fixture in that room it just, first of all, it's almost the height of the 24 foot ceilings and the TV, the 80 inch, whatever, 100 inch TV, whatever the size that is, is on a backsplash of like a wooden 
wall going all the way up to the top. I mean, it's probably one of the nicest entertainment displays I've ever personally seen. And then to separate the living room from the dining room, you have a wall of these wooden slats, which if you'll see, it kind of makes it kind of secluded, but in a fancy kind of non-excluded way. So it's like if you're sitting here, you're not completely separated, but there's privacy still. Takes you into the dining room. Not one complaint do I have about this room. Huge big bare wall on this side to put the art and a little statue, just everything's perfect and some UFOs to light your day up while you're eating. And while we're on this corner of the, you know, dining room side of the house, we're gonna go take a look at this balcony and this is a little bigger. This is where most of the square footage will be. So I just brought you out onto the 62nd floor in the Brickle flat iron and all I'm seeing around me is the ocean. In about t two minutes, I'm gonna see a bird, give it a high five. Just silly things like that, you know, but all this space out here, you know what you're putting out here? Seats, there's a plug for a TV maybe. I mean, you, let your mind run wild. And the cool thing is the balcony actually wraps around to this side and you have another entrance from the living room and entrance right here. So you get more access in and out. The first thing when you buy this place, because I know you're probably right now scrambling to call a real estate agent. You can also call me, by the way. I don't know if you know that I'm a real estate agent, but I know you're scrambling because the first thing you're going to do when you buy this place is you're going to walk in and be like, let me show you the view real quick. And you're going to take them out here, and this is where they're going to see. This is Miami, if you're wondering. This is what Miami looks like. You can see Fisher Island. I can see Sunny Isles. I can see, I can see it all. Definitely one of the most views I've ever seen. And while we're on this euphoric kind of high of the building, let's head back inside. I'll finish the first floor and take you upstairs to the second floor. It only gets better. Let's go. So as I come back in, cross around the dining room and these chairs are just, oh, takes us into a full bathroom. So this actually used to be a bedroom right over here, but they made it what it should be. There's an open dining room, but you still get the, the, the pleasures of having a full bathroom. So the walk-in shower, the sink, you got it all. And on that note, while we're on this side, it's time to head upstairs and take a look at the second floor. Follow me. I want to go home. So as I come up from the first to the second story, behind me you have the same kind of like wall wooden backsplash as you did by the TV. And then it takes me up, glass railing to guide me in my way. Alex, you got fingerprints. Okay, can't be doing this around here. So as I come up, before I get into the first guest suite, you have a nice sitting area, the same glass railings to guard you, and then it overlooks a two-story foyer area. Now you can really see that light fixture for what it is, the SLS, boom, an art piece in your living room. And it's gonna take me into my first guest suite. As you come in, don't be fooled. This isn't the master bedroom. As much as you may think it is, it's not. My right, you have the full ensuite for the bedroom. It's got a private toilet and bidet, soak in tub, dual sinks, and a huge walk in shower. And then as I come back out, you have the walk in closet on my right. Boom. Huge ceiling heights, all the storage, full body mirrors you can do. I don't even know why you would do that mirror. Don't do that. And then as you come in, this is your. VIP guest suite, if you will. Got a little chair table situation over here. The full king size bed, a ball and a stick and a string. Light fixtures. <laughs> 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 and then this huge Juliet window. And what I mean by Juliet is you can literally slide this baby. And guess what? You want to wake up to fresh air? <laughs> I got you covered. You got it right here. Ah, that's what you're gonna do every morning. You wake up here. Now let's head back out and take a look at the rest of the guest suites. So coming out, I'm just gonna take one more look. Don't tell anybody. Wow. We're gonna make our way to the second guest suite upstairs as you come in. Another full on suite. Closet behind the slider doors and it takes you in. You have the same Juliet window, but this time when you open it, sea salt, the ocean. This view is a little bit nicer. You got a bigger room, nicer view. You do the math. And as we head right back out,
come down, real wood. You once again have another guest suite. This one, walk-in closet, the ensuite, balcony this time, and views of the water. So now we're, we're going up and up and up. Definitely putting an ad here, but this is, this is where it turns up. Master suite, you come in, first off, linen storage, small walk-in closet. Don't you for a second think this is the closet that you get. Small little walk-in closet, takes you into a study, but behind me, when I do a 180, you have an IMAX movie theater screen of views. You can see it all. The ocean, the, the, I can see it all. I can see Sunny Isles, everything we talked about before. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. The, the bed is just flawlessly centered in the middle of the room. I feel like it's pinpointed down to the center of the earth. The lighting above, elegant. It's just clean. These light bulb pictures, this is what Alexander Graham Bell wanted to talk about when he first made his first phone call. <laughs> and then that same light fixture that you saw in that living room, guess what, they, they plucked one off for you like a fruit. They threw it in the corner and they let it grow. And now it's a, a light fixture statue in your room. And this is where you ponder, you come home, you say, I really live here. You sit down, I'm not even gonna sit there because I don't deserve it yet. But you sit here, you just look back and say, wow. But don't, before we keep going, I have to take you on this balcony. This is the 63rd floor, technically, because we're on the second story of it. But when you come out, this is where things change. This whole balcony is meant for living, breathing, and inspiration. You look out, you're so high up, you can't hear a single ounce of traffic. Am I lying? No, you can't. You can't. I can't hear anything. You can't hear anything. I can see the bridge taking you to Miami Beach. I can see the, cr I, I mean, I can see it all. I can see my balcony. This is actually the balcony where we were previously and the space out here, the fact that it's only 831 square feet total, I wouldn't believe it because it just feels like thousands. And then coming right back in, I don't want to, unfortunately, but I have a job to do. Coming right back in, it's gonna take us straight to the master bedroom and walk-in closet. So you're gonna come this way. On my right, on my left now, I have to go in for this one, look at this. Okay, these are my shoes for Monday, shoes for Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, this, this whole section is Saturday, Sunday. You get the vibes. Ridiculous. Three light fixtures in here because they had so much space. And then on my right, it actually takes you to just a toilet and sink within. So listen, you just had some bad food. You know, it's, it's been a rough day. You gotta have your, your little corner. You close this door, do your thing. But you got the full facility in here with the bidet. But when, it, when it's you and the wife and you're just coming home trying to have a good time, look what it takes you into, boom. This is where you kick on those slippers, got the matching slippers, matching sets, soaking tub. The soaking tub kissing that view. You're laying in there, you're facing that, music playing. I mean, what else do you want? Dual sinks, this brown on this white just fights like sweet and sour in a good way toilet and bidet and walk in shower. And then as I come out of here, the final thing I'm gonna leave you with before I say goodbye, I wanna leave you up here. Look at this. The best view, I, the best view in, in Brickle that we've seen, besides being on South Beach and all that, the amount of time you'll save by living here, you're near everything that matters, this is it. I just wanna thank you for coming on this tour with me. If you like the music, if you wanna know more about the property, all the information will be down below. Don't forget, I'm a real estate agent, so if you wanna see this property in person, all you have to do is just call me. Well, I'm not gonna put my number because too many people will call me. Go on Instagram right here, DM me, we'll be in touch. If you don't have Instagram, you can feel free to email me and I'll set it up for you. That's what I'm here for. I'm the guy who, I'm the matchmaker of dreams. I changed my Instagram username, dream matchmaker. That is all. Thanks again. Have a good one.
Hasta la vista, baby. All right.